they shut down the Australia Day celebrations today to allow them to march. Hey, put a mask on. Hold on, you want me to put on a mask? Why, why, why are you, why are you rallying? My dad at an election is the time to harass me now. You literally walked up to me. Even before you had clout, you were just so aggressive and condescending. And it's like, what are you trying to project, you know? Am I the one aggressive here today? Yeah, well, I have a problem with you. I've come up and I've... Cause I know you're probably waiting to watch the full video of my arrest yesterday. And don't worry, it's being produced as we speak. We had three cameras rolling from three different angles. So no matter what the police or the mainstream media are claiming today... You'll be the judge when it's published, probably, hopefully, later tonight. And before I do anything, I want to thank each and every one of you who have supported me so far. We have some huge news regarding all of that. But before we get to my latest unlawful arrest, I'm going to show you what I was actually doing at the so-called Invasion Day rally that triggered police to throw me into the back of their divvy van. I'm not the person to talk to because I'm a white person who colonised this country as well, so talk to First Nations people. Look, I don't see many here, and you're <laughs> here protesting, so I guess you are the right person to talk to, no? I would never speak on behalf of First Nations people. You're here protesting on behalf of... That's enough, thank you. Awkward. <laughs> How you going, guys? What are we protesting today? Uh, we are... Oh, my God, I've just been put on the spot. You've been on, do you want to change the date? I'll make it easier. Um, yeah. yeah or abolish definitely. it. Which one? Um, both. Well, you can't have both. If you change it, you can't abolish it. Okay. All right. Well, I'll change the date then. Change the date. To what date? Um, May 8th. Mate. Mate? Yeah. Oh, that works. So there's a lot of people here that want to abolish it, um, and they're not going to accept mate. Would you still protest with them when we change it to mate? I don't know. Yeah, probably. So why should anyone listen to you? Why should anyone listen to people protesting to change the date if you're saying once it's changed, you're still going to protest? <laughs> there is a police presence here today. Um, a little bit different presence than we've seen at most of, well, pretty much any other rally in the last six months, aside from Black Lives Matter. I'm protesting the injustice, the genocide, ongoing genocide. Um, you hear basic human rights that are just, uh, they're not existent. Like what? Like, um, like this, the freedom to assemble, <laughs> for starters, to, to explain our, you know, our, our issues. But I think this is the only group that's been allowed to assemble. And no one else in the last six months has been allowed to assemble. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm a bloody Nazi. I'm a Nazi. Yeah, you're a f***ing Nazi. For those of you who don't know, I'm a proud Jew. The proudest. In fact, I served in the Israeli army to defend the only Jewish state in the world. So, I doubt Hitler would want me on his team. But that disgusting insult has lost all meaning and seems to be thrown around by people who claim to be fighting for equality. They never seem to see the irony in calling a proud Jew a Nazi. January 26 also happens to be the first sanctioned marriage between an Aboriginal person and a convict by choice. They wanted to get married, they fell in love, even though, um, do you think we can celebrate that at least? I just came back from Burke, which is an outback town in New South Wales, um, a high population of Aboriginal. Now I put the question to the local, a local elder and I asked her, um, what are their most pressing issues? What concerns them most? There's alcohol, there's drugs, <laughs> well, you name it all. Like, it's all in, in town, all drugs, everything. Yeah. Th th those are the most important? Crimes. Crime. Youth crimes. Oh, no, I mean, I can't yeah, no, I've got to tell the truth. <laughs> That's the truth? Yeah. She didn't mention not Australia Day, not the anthem, not anything else. Yeah. Her issues were very different, but none of these people here go to protest the actual issues that matter to them. Why is that? Not one poster about it. Just by being here they are. You know? Are you, what's your background? My background are, is Australian. Aussie. Yeah. White Australian. Australian. White? I'm Australian. Doesn't matter. We're well, really, it kind of does. You say. it matters is Australia. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. So, so why do you have a t-shirt like that when you're making it about colour? Get the fuck out of here. Piss off, you fucking. Yeah. For uh, people, you know, 
protesting and advocating tolerance and love and acceptance. They seem to be projecting a lot of white privilege on a person of colour. How does it feel to be the only person of colour here? The only one? Well, like, one of... I'm pretty sure there's more than just me, so... There's, uh, there's me too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It starts with the, the inadequate resourcing and funding of those communities, the support and services that white or the general population get in abundance. Okay. Are you kidding me? The indigenous community get far more no, funding no, than any not. other group. No, that's absolutely not true. The kick is us. <sighs> Come, you want to talk about it? No. How does that make you feel? How do you feel being here? I love it. This is my country. You're projecting a lot of white privilege onto me. Let me ask you something. What are you here because of your fucking track record, mate? What, what are you here to protest? I'm not going to harass you like I. The notion of Australia Day. It's obviously what we're trying to fucking. Do you want to change it or abolish it? Personally, abolish it. But I'm abolish a... Australia Day. You know you're meant to be 1.5 meters. Hey, we've got that's, here. That's 1.5 <laughs> meters, mate. You're breaking the COVID restrictions. Shame on you. You always preach. Here. You always preach tolerance with such love. This guy is the face of tolerance in Melbourne. But there is hope because later on I managed to get to a parade organised by Aussies who refused to let Dan Andrews cancel Australia Day. Being uh, Australian, uh, I, I suppose first generation. Um, you know, this is what I stand for. Now, when you say it's not a a cause that you feel is it because you were the only person of color to walk through the crowd <laughs> Australia is a great country because people has made mistakes they came together rectify them and they still gave hand to others to still come to Australia turns out the people who love Australia who love this country are actually the tolerant ones imagine my shock if you enjoyed this invasion day report as much as I liked making it Please like, comment, and share to spread it far and wide. And if you're keen on seeing what happened next as police swarmed, make sure to subscribe to Rebel News on YouTube now and hit that little notification button so they let you know when it's ready for you to watch.